Hi, I'm Mel Klusman for KRC Racing. I'm uh, at Rex Merritt's shop today. Uh, we're installing some new uh, A-frames. It's a it's a balmy 13 degrees outside, so uh, we've already we brought one of our uh, right-hand A-frames here. I'm going to show you how to uh, uh, install our new frictionless bushings that we've got for the A-frames. They work great. They fit just perfect and what we'll do now is we're going to install these and then we're going to try to fit them in the car remember there's a one big and one small we try to make these as tight as possible but not not too tight okay uh, usually there's a little burr on the inside of the A-frame if you want to uh, where it's been machined so if you want to clip that uh, we try to get most of it but evidently we missed out on one there alright and uh, now also these bushings that we have here has a greaser in it and if you ever need to change anything you can change uh, this Delrin bushing and the Winslow bushing and it does have a hole in for the greaser they last a long time every Larry Shaw chassis that goes out goes with these on now we'll go ahead and we'll try to uh, Match it up to the frame. All right, here we've got the bushings in it, and we're going to get on this uh, uh, A or B mod chassis, and I'll let you tell Rex. Uh, Rex could tell you what kind of chassis is. It's I couldn't remember it all. Go ahead, Rex, so I put this in. Well, this is what we call a Malice chassis. It started out a Harris chassis, and then my son-in-law Scotty Allen done some changing. We changed the front clip and the rear clip. So it's got some of my technology, which is the M. It's got some Allen Auto Works work in it, so is, that's the Al. And then the uh, Harris is the last word, so it all comes out malice. Okay, it's always a little tough to get these mounted in here. Especially one handed. Okay, I got it mounted in there. It's a little booger by yourself, but uh, it looks like um, it fits real easy in there. I've got just a little bit of play, but that only play is in the, uh, the horn that has uh, the holes are a little bit worn on your chassis. But otherwise, it looks like just about right. I'll go ahead and uh, get a screwdriver and push them both out. Well. Now that fits just about as tight as you want it right there. And I can lift that as long as you can lift it to the full stroke. You're in good shape. So now we're ready to take it out. And we're going to tack weld those bushings where they're supposed to be. Okay, and that's how they should fit. You shouldn't have to beat your horns together. That's why we make them a little bit smaller that you can put them in. It should just fit that easy.